Nika, the little nature media. This is Tisa Kuro. You're watching with Tommy Pals. And today we're going to be doing another comic review. This is actually a, a request from Hating Claire Heroes. Um, recently I just asked her, hey, is there any particular comics you'd like to see? And um, I was she gave me a request for some Spider Girl ones. And after digging through all my however many I actually have, I know I only have about two of them, unfortunately, because it's just for some reason a little bit hard to find, and so I was able to find one. So today's review, as you saw from the opening, will be on Spider Girl number nine. And this is definitely um, almost considered a turning point comic, um, just because it really helps bring out what's, you know, what she's trying to accomplish. And of course, this is the first major one where both of her parents now accept that she's a teen superhero. I know it was really hard on her mother. Luckily, her mother decided to allow her to do it. That was the only other comic I have, and strangely, I'm unable to find it at the moment. So, Let's go ahead and start talking about, you know, what, what really happens in this one. You know, we, it starts off, we see, um, we see her training with her father, and he's vigorously teaching her how to use her abilities. Since he was Spider-Man back in the day, it's time that he actually goes out and teaches his daughter, okay, this is what I did, this is what I learned, this is what I learned in the hard, you know, the hard way. Since he did have to fight a ton of villains through this thing, including having to go against uh, superheroes every once in a while as well, Punisher and others. So he wanted to make sure, and he really, <laughs> really puts uh, her through a lot of training. And at 4, let's see, is it 4 a.m.? She says, yeah, about like 4 o'clock in the morning, he wakes her up. To go and start training before she goes to school. Lucky high school students. You know, and I, then, you know, she goes through her life at high school trying to be a normal high school student. And then we see her next, you know, working with her uncle who was the original trainer for her, helping her learn how to use her powers. This girl really has her days cut out and it really shows, that's one thing I really always enjoyed about reading Marvel a little bit more is because Marvel really would take the time to, you know, explore, you know, going into the training. <clears throat> I'm happy to see that DC has really, you know, started doing that as well. And this is one of those that really shows, okay, let's do another hero in training. Um, she then meets up with her first villain she's actually going to be uh, fighting and his name is Killer Roa the fight's going alright you know she's finally getting to really use all of her training to her best and unfortunately doesn't work out too good luckily she is saved from being demasked um, from Dark Dare Unfortunately, I don't know too much about him. I have to definitely look up more. And, you know, it gives her a little prep talk from hero to hero. You know, either you're a good hero or you're just knocked it out. She does kind of take that really hard. Her, the rest of her day is just not looking good, you know. She's being trained by her father, being trained by her uncle. Her mother's giving her lip, you know, hey, if your grades aren't good, you can't be a superhero. You know, definitely making it hard on her. And then... She's told by an actual hero, you know, hey, I don't think you're cut up for this little girl. You should go home and play house. So, you know, just one of those rough days. Now, out of here, out of anything, the best moment is because Peter doesn't know that Phil has actually been training her yet. And all of a sudden, the news, breaking news, a unknown costume hero girl 
is fighting some armed villains, you know, gunshots going off, and they both freak out and learn that it was actually Stinger. And they kind of like, yeah, um, Stinger, eh? Kind of like trying to hide the fact that they know that they don't know, but they do know type thing, you know, that crazy thing where they just don't want to tell each other. Then finally at the end, you know, the two meet up again, and we learn how uh, Killer Watt actually becomes who he is and why he's after revenge, why he's doing what he's doing. And of course, Spider Girl shining you know, like, hey, you know, you probably shouldn't do this because you know I'm the hero. I'm gonna hurt you if you go. And they start to fight again, and this time she actually comes out on top, which is you know great for her because she finally you know has won. She goes over and finds Dark Dare and just like you know, hey, I did a good job, you know. Thank you for your advice, that really helped me out. I'm definitely going to do the best I can and enjoy being a superhero. Out of, um, out of all of the, because I, I do enjoy reading, especially a lot of the teen um, superhero comics because they really connect with the readers a lot. Um, I've really found this one to be enjoyable because it really does show, you know, being a teen superhero secretively is a lot harder than being an open hero. Because really, as far as I know, and this thing only about four people actually know who Spider Girl really is, and we really get to see, you know, what her life is as a teenager, and we finally get to see one of her biggest wins that really boosts up her confidence and helps her become a better uh, superhero. Out of just reading alone, I really, um, I, I definitely am gonna. Get, See, this is one of the better um, ones I've read uh, when it comes to the team ones because it really just, they have fun with it, they're able to connect with the reader, and they didn't, they kept the, the feel, because, you know, she is her uh, father's daughter and has a whole comedy that is associated with the Spider-Man, you know. She's able to bring out the comedy, and she's finally starting to act what she's supposed to be. So I really enjoy this one, and I hope you guys, you know, if you get the opportunity, definitely look into these. These are some really good ones, and um, they just do a good job with it. So that's my review on Spider Girl number nine. So definitely want to pick it up. And once again, I'd like to say thank you, the Hayden Claire Heroes, for the, the you know for the request. Um, if you guys would like to request any, go to Comic Vine, look up T. Sakura, you know, go through my collection of what I have up on the site. If any of those you'd like to see, you know, let me know. And if there is one that you don't see there, ask me if I have one because I got over about a thousand more comics to add into my collection. So, yeah, definitely let me know. This is T. Sakura today and Chow and Sayonara.